In the food and drug industry, it's critical that employees maintain personal hygiene. This is best illustrated by the story of Mary Mallon, better known as Typhoid Mary. Mary was an amazing cook who served in rich New York households in the 1900s. She also accidentally killed three people. That's right, Mary infected more than 50 people with typhoid. Three of them unfortunately died. Typhoid fever is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. Spread through contaminated food and water, it can cause nasty symptoms like diarrhea and intestinal bleeding, maybe even death. But here's the thing, Mary never had any of these symptoms herself. Then how did she manage to infect all those people? But we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Let's start Mary's story from the beginning. Mary was born in Ireland in 1869. She emigrated to the U.S. in 1881. For seven years, starting 1900, Mary worked as a cook with seven different families in New York. Curiously, many members in each of these families got infected with typhoid. But none of them connected it to Mary because she appeared healthy and always moved on to the next job. In any event, typhoid was considered a poor man's disease, usually found in the slums. No one expected wealthy New Yorkers in their summer homes to get infected. In 1906, one of the affected families hired George Sopper, a civil engineer with experience in typhoid outbreaks, to investigate. Sopper soon connected the dots. He figured out that Mary was a common link, that she had worked seven jobs and infected 22 people. After a lot of struggle, Sopper managed to obtain a blood sample from Mary for testing. And bingo, she tested positive for typhoid. She was kept in isolation for three long years and only released in 1910 after she swore that she'll never cook for others again. But after working a few odd jobs, Mary got back to, you guessed it, cooking. She wasn't very careful about maintaining hygiene either. More people got sick, especially the ones that ate uncooked food, like her famous peach ice cream. In 1915, Sloan Maternity Hospital in Manhattan had a typhoid outbreak. 25 people were affected. Two of them died. Evidence pointed to a new cook they'd hired, one Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown was just Mary by a different name. The story of typhoid Mary did not end well for anyone, least of all her. She was quarantined for the rest of her life. Now here's a question for all of us working in the food and drug industry. Imagine if Mary was working in a factory making medicines taken by millions of people. There are two key lessons for us in Mary's story. One, it's important to get tested before you start your job, even if you don't show any signs of illness. Remember, Mary herself never showed any symptoms of typhoid. And number two, the importance of maintaining personal hygiene at the workplace. Mary could have saved all those people if she'd just been careful about washing hands.